This champion plays with her ball. To counter her, pick someone like Fizz who can EOA most of her damage and get in to burst her. Kale has an ult that almost completely denies her and can destroy her afterwards all the while poking. Yasuo's wind wall goes a long way in denying her everything she throws at you. Talon for his invisibility and burst, Kassadin for his mobility, and Lux for her light binding make other good counters too. Syndra's passive grants her abilities additional effects when they're at max rank. Her Q allows her to conjure up a dark sphere at a target location that stays there for 6 seconds and also deals damage to enemies. At max rank, it deals extra damage to champions. Her W makes her pick up a minion, monster or sphere and at second cast makes her throw it to a designated area dealing damage and slowing enemies. At max rank, it'll also deal 2 damage. Her E force pushes all enemies and spheres a certain distance, stunning enemies that get hit by the spheres. At max rank, it widens its area of effect by 50%. Finally, her ultimate makes her hurl all the spheres to a champion, always with a minimum of 3 spheres and a maximum of 7 spheres, each one dealing damage. At max rank, this ability gets increased range. This might be the single champion in the game that can keep constantly moving while casting any of her abilities, meaning she'll be able to dodge at the same time she's hitting you. Be aware of her ball's locations at all times so as to not get stunned. She'll most likely bring either Ignite if the matchup is favorable, or a defensive spell like Lens or Barrier if the matchup is not in her favor. You on the other hand might opt for Barrier if you're feeling unsafe, or something more aggressive like Ignite works pretty well too. As for Power Spikes, you can imagine solely based on her passive that this is going to be a mid to late game Reliant Champion. That being said, you can can't underestimate her early levels 3 and 6 when she can really do some interesting damage. Luden's Echo greatly helps her burst people down quicker and Merlinomicon helps with her deleting the ADC. Another power spike for this single champion is the amount of balls she has on the field. If she has one or none, it might be a good time for you to pounce on her. Thanks for tuning in, good luck in your match and remember, she'll be very vulnerable after using her E to push people so use this chance, don't fight her if you're low health and alone, and time your protective abilities or Zhonya's for when she throws that ultimate at you. Ultimately, have fun doing it.